Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your uh, Tesla Model 3, Model Y speaker to the aftermarket speaker. So uh, if you haven't checked our video um, for, for the Model 3 and Model Y speaker test, you can check out uh, in the link in the description. So the video about the uh, Model 3 and Model Y speaker, we compare uh, the speaker to the aftermarket speaker. So, and the result showing that the Model 3 and Model Y speaker actually is uh, the clarification is it's not very uh, you know it's not very clear the sound uh, and also the mid range as well. But in this video, I'm only going to show you uh, the door speaker, the front door speaker. So um, first of all. Uh, what you need to prepare, you need to prepare the speaker mount. So we do have the um, six and a half inch speaker mount available, and as well as the eight inch one. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you the to upgrade with the Focal um, ISU 200s. And in the 3D print, we, we use the uh, PETG or maybe ABS material. And also you can see that we have improved the design. Uh, for example, the screw, we have extended the material uh, around the screw. So it will have a, a better bite, uh, you know, in the, in the speaker mount. So first of all, uh, we need to get the uh, insulation tape here. So. Uh, I recommend to tape it before putting uh, the speaker uh, on first. So uh, what we want to do is to tape the speaker mount here around and uh, a small tip is that you, you want to have the tape uh, in a in a di diagonal or maybe a tri you know in, in this kind of direction so when when you tape around it you have a better seal instead of a straight line so the air will be will be able to go through, go through it directly so um so with the eight hinge one i have already prepared a uh, speaker mount that is taped with the uh you know sound insulation tape so um back and the front and secondly uh, we have the um OEM speaker connector for sale and we recommending using it because you don't have to cut the factory wire the connector because if you cut it it might be it might fall your warranty but if you, if you use the connector um, you can just use you you don't have to cut any wire uh, in inside the car so now we put the speaker uh, and you can see that in the speaker mount there is a hole in here so it's preserved for the wiring so and in the next version we will have the wiring um, more directly to the to the hole here because uh, right now uh, this is the um, not yet the production one but it's already close to the production for the speaker mount the direction of the wiring is a bit uh, not correct. So now we put the speaker on the mount and then just using the screw and I have the screwdriver here so I just put it in first. Uh, the speaker mount, the screw hole in the speaker mount is relatively strong because we have improved the design. So uh, no, no worry about stripping the, the speaker mount. So now we have already assembled the speaker mount and the speaker. So one more tip in here. If you are using a uh, six and a half inch speaker, for example, we have an Alpine S series in here. It has a built-in um, you know, uh, crossover here. So this inductor is going to filter out the 
high frequency. But uh, the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, it actually has a um, active crossover within the um, car. So uh, what if you are using other brand of speaker that might include the crossover, the passive crossover in the speaker, you might want to solder it directly to bypass the crossover. So in this in this example here, I do not solder it to this terminal because this one is going going through the inductor here. So I solder it um, bypassing the inductor. So this is a small tip if you are using other brand of um, speaker. So now uh, let's come back to here. So uh, now we are going to um, solder the the wiring here. So another tip is that um, do not uh, fool by the color of the wiring because uh, normally people think that uh, red is going to be the positive terminal but in this case it's actually not. Um, the way to determine the connector um, terminal is by looking at the extension here. So if you see the connection with the extension that is coming out here, this is the positive. So in this case, the green one is actually the positive terminal and the red one is actually the uh, negative. So uh, this one need to be careful because if you connect the wrong uh, polarity, uh, it will affect the, you know, the result of the sound. So I just, I just, I'll go through the wire here and then um, when you're ready you can you know solder it to the terminal and now I'm just going to cut the wire into the correct uh, correct length because so I don't have so I need because the, the mount is not the screw hole on the mount is not making it it's, it's a bit wrong so but we we are going to correct it in a few days later so put it back and then we can start the connection so um, we have the soldering um what do you call this yeah, so this is the soldering iron I'm using. I'm using a fast one, a portable one with the lithium ion battery. So I'm going to hit, hit the soldering iron and then just wait for a few seconds. It should be searing hot now. So, yep, start to smoke. I just put on the solder on the wire first so I can easier to actually put this connect connect it to the speaker so uh, the other one and then just make some separation so the soldering uh, I have already put on the cable the connector cable now I put some solder uh, on the terminal here I prefer to solder it directly so that um, so that the connection wouldn't affect by the vibrations so now we have it solder properly and then now we want to solder to connect the wire to the terminal so just be careful when you're doing the soldering because it's very very hot um, okay the negative terminal is on Madness sucking <laughs> So I'm just using the scissor to clamp the wire. So I'm not cutting the wire. So it's done. So we are done soldering it. 
So you can see that I solder it directly to the terminal. And by the end, if you have a hot glue, uh, I normally would, what I would do is to glue, to fill in the hole in here so that the air won't come out in here to, you know, cause some distortion. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the door panel and also replace the speaker, which is um, relatively easy uh, when you have prepared a speaker. Just do the same with the other speaker because it comes with a pair in a pair, and then um, and then we let's move to the car. Thank you.